Well, this is the place. Are you the Ghostbusters? Yes, I'm Dr. Oz. This is Dr. McBacon. <laughs> it's in there! Look. Symmetrical book stacking. Oh. A full torso apparition. <laughs> You're right. One of us should try and make contact. <laughs> Me? Oh, okay. <clears throat> Hi, ghost person. Shh. Next plan? <laughs> right. On three. One, two, three. Get her! <laughs> well, what was it? We'll get back to you. Awesome. Fun. What is up, ghosts, ghost sets, and ghosts who defy description? And a warm welcome to another episode of Awesome Fun in Minecraft, where we're here on Route 66 that we created in the last episode to meet an old friend who is also a new friend. That's right, we've got an updated version of Ecto-1. So let's go and take a look. Here we have our two versions of Ecto-1 side by side and you might get a clue from this. The reason why I chose to redesign my version of this, it's just because the road is five wide, whereas this one was designed four wide originally. So I wanted to get one that was wide enough for the road, but there was also other things that happened. I watched a little video about a restoration of the original Ecto-1, and Dan Aykroyd was talking about the original car and how chunky and big this car was and I wanted to capture some of that feeling. He also talked about how his original design was purple and black. Uh, I love that idea. We're definitely going to make an alternate of that in the future. My favorite colors but I think white was the right choice for the film in the end. So that was our main choice. We also have some new blocks available that allow us to do some of the other details that we couldn't do before. So if we take a look at our Ecto-1, you can see that one of the things I really love about this is the shape. Look at that shape on the side there. If we can, it's a bit harder with this one because it's on the edge, but it doesn't have that. This one has a much cooler shape. Especially I like this trapdoor addition because what I really wanted, and I found that you can get with snow layers, and I hope these don't disappear, this allows us to put some more different detailing on it here. And this is so light that it can work to give us some additional detail. I mean, you could probably add this to the original one, but look at it from the back. Now, that looks a lot more like Ecto-1 because it does have that wider back door with the logo on. And if we take a climb up to the top, we can see that we've got an even cooler array of crazy devices going on, and I've managed to push this in it here to make that a bit more connected. So you can see these designs. I'll, of course, link the original Ecto-1 video if you like the the idea of this design here whereas i love this new one and we're going to find out how to build it right now this being a tutorial every item you need is of course listed in the description below so let's get started now put yourself down a dirt block then on top of that the top part place yourself a quartz slab next to that you're going to place a coal block next to that a quartz slab Next to your quartz slab, an iron trap door. Next to that, another quartz slab. Another coal block that's acting as the next tire. A quartz slab on the end. And that's your little base bit complete. Now we'll come back to the start. We're going to put a temporary block there so that we can put a quartz pillar facing in this direction. Above the tire, you're going to place an upside down quartz stair. You're then going to place a quartz block here here and here so three in a row another quartz stair above this tire and then on the back we're going to place ourselves another block of quartz can then come back to the start of this slice and we're going to place one and two stow layers on there and one on this bit here uh, sorry two one two on this bit here then we're going to come to the very back here and we're going to put ourselves in one block of red nether brick you can then place an upside down red nether brick stair on the back of it then we come around 
on top of this stair, we're going to place ourselves another full brick like this with another upside down stair on the back like so. And then in between this bit here, you can place yourself one block of quartz. Next up, get yourself some black stained glass panes and take them all the way from this block here until the snow bit. So this far until it touches where the snow is. Then speaking of snow, we're going to get ourselves some snow and put two layers on top of this one. Now we will need to build up to this. It is a little bit too high. So just on top of here, we're going to place one, two snow, flick back to our quartz slabs, and we're going to build a total of five of these. So, oh, not stair, not you stair, slab, slab. So one, two, three, four, and five. Perfect. Now get yourself your item frame. You're going to place one on each of the two tires and one above the trap door here. Inside these item frames, we're going to place some grey stained glass panes to act as our tire. And in here, you can place your Ghostbuster logo if you have one. And I also want to mention at this point an add-on that I use quite a lot. Statues by Stick God or Statues version 2.8 available in Vanilla Tweaks. There's a link to this in the description. And one of the things that this allows us to do is to make an item frame invisible. So you can use this to also manipulate armor stands. Now I actually prefer to do the invisible by creating the command because it's a bit quicker. So trigger if invisible will make the item frame disappear. But you can also do it with this book in the hand. We're going to use this a lot in today's build. So that's what you've got, and that's what really finishes the tires off. So I'll let you now take a good look at this slice. You can may even want to pause the video here just to take a look at this particular slice, because what you're going to do is leave yourself a gap in between here of one, two, three, and then duplicate it, mirror this, on the opposite side. So you leave a space of one, two, three in between and you duplicate that. So once again, you may want to pause the video right here to grab this main template. There we have it, duplicated. So it's the same on both sides. You can then come to the back between the two red sections and where you've got the quartz slabs on the bottom, you're going to link this bit together. And then we're going to place quartz blocks between the red bit. So that should give you three between the red bit. Then all along, in between where we've got the slab and this block, we're going to place ourselves in these trap doors. Not there. Get our black stained glass panes and take those across the top of those three. So we basically go three, three. And then on top of here, we're going to place one, two, three quartz slabs as well. We can also slap an item frame on the back that's going to be where our Ghostbuster logo goes. And that's your back section done. Bring yourself around to the front of Ecto-1 and where we have our three slabs sticking in, we're going to expand them forward until they reach the front tire like so. So just bring all of them forward. Then you can jump up onto the back here. And what we're going to place here is we're going to place one, two, one, two of slabs with these two in between them. Then in front of the slabs, we're going to place ourselves down a stair, just like so. Now we can also grab a lever at this point and you can put it in between the two chairs here. We'll wait a second before we build the front section on. And back to the front section again, if we grab our iron trap doors, we can place one, two, three, just between this section here. And then you're going to jump up on it here. Now in here, I placed, I think it is just slabs that I've placed in here because you don't see this bit. Um, and I quite like the idea that it gives a kind of bit of space underneath as if you could stick your legs in there. But I guess you could use a stair or a solid block here. It's up to you. Now we can grab our item frame and place on the music disc. And then, of course, we can, if I stand in the right place, make it invisible. So you've got a little steering wheel that you can interact with to actually drive Ecto-1. And I thought this is the place where they can kind of set down their proton packs as well. Uh, for when you're inside. But again, you might want to make this a minecart instead if you want to sit inside of it. Then when we come here, you can, of course, fill this three in 
with your black stained glass panes and grab your quartz slabs and place three across the top. Now, if we drop down onto here, we're going to need to get ourselves blast furnaces i don't think i have those on me there we go blast furnace and you're going to want three of these one two and three like so you can get yourself an item frame and put one on every single block here inside these you want a firework star that's gray just plainest looking one because it kind of gives you the round metal headlight kind of look and then iron bars in all of these rotated in this direction and then the idea is once you make them all invisible the firework stars act as the headlights and the iron bars just help to give more of that kind of front grill impression that we get from the old ecto-1 now if you get some snow layers we do need to place some snow on all of these six blocks from here we're gonna actually gonna find this easier if we climb up so you'll need to crouch to place the snow on top of the furnaces to stop you from opening. So let's just double check. Yeah, that is looking identical. Now we can turn to the roof. So build yourself a way to get on top of Ecto-1. Get yourself lapis lazuli blocks. You're going to place three at the front and three at the back. And because we get the half block, the suggestion here is that these are the tumbling blue lights that are on the top. Then you can get yourself your black and yellow concrete and you place it basically alternating. So if it's black there, yellow there, if it's yellow there, black there, just like that. And this is, again, gives the flavor of some of the kind of, there's a hazard stripe thing that's like on the side of it. So uh, the same with our original sort of thoughts for the build is we can't make exactly what's on top of Ecto-1, but we can give lots of hints. So we can now turn to the observers. So if you place them facing into each other, it will give you a bit of flashing action there that might be possible to see. So there we go. Take a look at that design. That's the template or the base of it. And now we're going to add all the little details on top. So for the top of Ecto-1, if you stand at the front here, you're going to start on this blue bit by placing some levers just facing towards the inside then on this middle part here we're going to place ourselves a brewing stand and my thought is to build the kind of bigger things in the center and the smaller things around about so if we come directly behind this one now we're going to place ourselves down a redstone repeater you can of course mix this around any way that you like we're going to then place ourselves a daylight detector here we're going to flick that to the blue direction like so Behind this detector, we're going to place ourselves down the iron trapdoor. On this middle bit in the back, we're going to place ourselves an end rod with a plant pot or flower pot on top of it. Then we're going to come to this section here, going to get ourselves the comparator. We're going to place it, let's say, facing this way. We'll click the back so we've got a bit of light up action. We're going to place a redstone torch down on this bit here this bit we're going to leave open for just now then in the center bit we're going to get ourselves our furnace minecart and a rail we're going to place down the rail place down the furnace minecart and then break the rail and then now what we want to do is get our blue warp fence to act as this kind of hosing and a tube that sort of comes out this way and we're going to place it oh didn't mean to click you sorry sir we're going to come out one, two this way. We're going to come back one in this direction. Then we should be able to come down here and we're going to connect it right to that part there to act as our blue bit of tubing. Now what I like to do is to shove the mine furnace minecart until it's wedged. Like, oh, it moved back. <laughs> there we go, until it's kind of wedged in. And that, that way they kind of connect and it looks nice and connected together. Another little thing I like to do actually is if we place this lever on so it's the wrong way so we flick it, this will light up as well so we can get a bit of additional light up action there. And with that, our top section is completed. So a few finishing touches to mention. What I like to do on the inside here, and this will just depend whether you've got this available in your world, is I like to put item frames on top of all of these blocks to help hide them. And I've got a map that is, not the Ghostbuster one, yep, white. 
like this. So you can see when I put this in place and then hide them. And there we go, it looks something like that. So a bit of weird colouring, maybe I need to put some lighting inside to make it all match. But I think that looks really nice inside like so. So that's one of the finishing touches I recommend. Also, of course, if we grab our Ghostbuster maps, you want to put them here. Make them invisible, of course. One on this side, or one on the back. And this, I really think, looks great when you look at that on the back, like so. And then one on the opposite side, just in the same place as the other one. That gives you your three placements for those. Then something that you should probably have done much earlier in the build that would have made it so much easier is you put two ladders on this side here and then we could actually get up to the top. And it's quite funny, as it begins to get dark, because of this sensor, this actually flicks up. So it's got a little bit of interaction there. And as the new day dawns, we can take a good look at our Ghostbuster vehicle because it is now 100% completed. And with the tutorial being complete, so is our episode as well. Thank you so much for tuning in as always, and I'll see you next time for more awesome fun in Minecraft with me and the wonderful Mick Bacon. As always, if you have any questions at all, feel free to get in touch in the comments below. And of course, I also use Twitter if you want any images to help you in your build at home. So thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. What do you think, Mick Bacon? Should we go back? I feel a little bit guilty for uh, leaving them the ghost. I, I suppose you're right, I mean, come on, it's, I mean, it's only a book reading ghost, I mean, what's it gonna do? I mean, at worst, lose your page in the, in the book, right? Yeah, it's fine, it's fine, they'll be fine.